A lot of kids were having a hard time learning traditionally out of a book, learning math and science. And so I came up with this crazy idea to start a robotics program that teaches math, science, technology, engineering in an artistic fashion. I just want you to take these and connect them. Just create a whole loop. He is an awesome teacher. Mr. Pernice is all about hands-on projects. All of the individual copper hairs are included in the bond, so oh, now you're good. So I call that good. So you got your grade, you got your grade. A friend of mine, she's a fellow teacher, she said, look, I've got a friend who's got ALS. You know, she really can't reach the things around her. They're on tables nearby, and she needs all of the, the items there in her lap. And she said, you know, do you think your students in your class can kind of work on a project and maybe kind of help design something like that? Sure, no problem, we can do this. I was so honored and excited that they wanted to make the lap toy for me. We made a competition out of it, and the kids actually got on teleconferencing with Linda, and we all worked together, and we came up with a final prototype, and now Linda uses it every single day. My laptop is great. I have all the things that I use frequently right in my lap. I have a place for my phone and red button that I use with my eye gaze speaking device. Glasses, paper towels, chapstick, Q-tips, a back scratcher, a brush, and my little buddy, Titus the Turtle. It just makes me happy that we actually were able to impact somebody's life. ALS is referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It is a progressive, fatal neuromuscular disease that slowly robs the body of its ability to walk, speak, swallow and breathe. The life expectancy of an ALS patient averages two to five years from the time of diagnosis. A friend of mine, she's a fellow teacher in, in Umbel ISD, she said, look, I've got a friend who's got ALS, and she, she's got this need. And then that's one of the things about ALS that people need to understand, is that it limits your ability to move and to, to reach out for something on a table that's even close to you. And she said, you know, do you think your students in your class can kind of work on a project and maybe kind of help design something like that? So it was first introduced to us by our teacher, Miss Winters. It was a class project, so it opened up a lot of stuff we didn't know about. Like I had, I didn't know anything about ALS or anything like that. And doing the project, we had to work with constraints. I don't know. I think I think it motivated us to work on it. Mr. Pines informed us about her condition, and when we all learned about it, we wanted to help. And so we all pulled together, pulled our ideas, and came up with an idea to help her. I was so honored and excited that they wanted to make the lap toy for me and the awareness it would bring to ALS. So many people don't even know what it is. I wanted to be involved with it because I wanted to not only reach more people with ALS but also help Miss Linda. We came up with a final prototype and now Linda uses it every single day. Linda's assistive device works where all of the little things that she needs in her everyday life are conveniently located in her lap. So with her limited amount of mobility, she can reach him without having to go very far. It took us about two and a half months to do, and we did continue on the project doing 3D modeling and stuff. While well, we're trying to get it patented and get it to where other people can use it as well. It feels really good. I just love to see her smile. It was fun because um, it was a real life application. It took about an entire school year to work on this. Other people with ALS and other diseases would find it very helpful. Everywhere I go, people love it and tell me I should patent it. We have a working model that Linda's been using for an entire year. Now we're trying to get it to the point where many hundreds of thousands of other people with MS and ALS can use this device as well. It kind of really warms my heart because it shows like the things I'm doing actually like has an impact on it. Robotics is definitely the answer to the kids that don't understand why you would need math and problem solving skills. Robotics is whenever kids come in here and say, okay, now this is all making sense. I really enjoy robotics because it's hands on. Um, it's like there's not just one way to do things. You can do it multiple ways. You know, one team might do it one way, but I might do it another. I'm gonna come up underneath it's aha moments that are happening all along the way when you, when you have a class like robotics. Whenever you realize that your gear ratio is the same thing you were learning in your math class about fractions. Make sure you grab 18 gauge out of the wire bucket and not anything bigger than that. Education becomes exciting when these kinds of things happen. Question. Kids become passionate about what they're learning. The melting point of copper is 1,984 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. I like it because 
it helps me to put book, textbook knowledge that I've learned all throughout school and actually apply it into real life scenarios and actually finally help people with the knowledge I've been spending all my life learning. So when they come here, I want them to come in with curious intentions and then walk out with passion. The robotics is never, it never gets old. Every year we have to learn new things. And it's made a believer out of me.